Hi there, shooters. We're here to present you the January 2022 update to the SCAD Expert app. Without a long introduction, let's get to it. After you update the app and connect your sensor to your device, you will need to update the firmware. It will only take a minute, but make sure your sensor is charged over 50% before initiating the update. Once done, it will take another minute for the sensor to reboot and switch on again. Now that we're done with the firmware, let's dive into actually new stuff. First thing is that we actually added the new printing feature. You can find it on the top panel of the home screen. You can pick whichever target to print. And once you do that, you'll be able to scale it for the actual distance between your position and the paper target. You can scale it by dragging this little bubble here, or you can just type it in, which is more exact usually. Let's set it for five and a half meters, for example. At the same time, you're able to use it in different units of measurement too. If your tape measure is in feet, you can just set feet here, and you'll be able to in input feet in here. Uh, also, other settings are available for printing the target. So, for example, you can print the title or not, and you can pick other things like printing scoring rings or not, which, by the way, we don't recommend printing scoring rings if you are using a reduced scale target. So, if you're not, for example, if you're practicing with a 10 meter air pistol target and reducing this target for 5 meters, uh, we usually don't recommend printing the scoring ring. So, keep it off. We've also added some refreshing changes to the library of targets. More details about the target are available now. You can access it in list view by clicking the question mark and you're going to be able to see all the details about each target that you want to see. The same thing is available in tile view if you click the image of the target. The next new thing in the target library is the new silhouette target. It's one of the most popular human silhouette targets worldwide, used internationally by police and law enforcement. It closely resembles the NRA B-27 and B-34, but can be used for training 50 and 100 meters instead of 50 yards like the B-27. The next feature we'd like to show you, and we'll use the same silhouette target, is the added multi-shot feature. It will let you take multiple shots within just one aiming attempt. The multi-shot can be enabled under the Advanced Settings tab right here. And next we'll show you um, another bunch of new features that you'll find under the same Advanced tab. These are time limitations, number of shots per series, and scoring. For example, we're going to set some arbitrary parameters for the number of ciders, match shots, and time limits. You can apply these custom settings to any target in the app's library in order to create your own custom event or exercise. Now that we have a training session with additional limitations, for example, the sighting time right here, these settings can be further adjusted mid-session in the event settings uh, tab right there. Please keep in mind that if you haven't added these extra settings beforehand when creating the event card, you won't be able to add or edit them later. Another feature added for simplicity is the automatic screen scaling for each of your shots during practice. Now the screen zooms into the shot area depending on your score, so you would see the most relevant data without needing to zoom in or out. On top of that, there is a new gesture which will allow you to manually zoom in and out with a single finger. Just tap twice and slide the finger up and down. The default two-finger pinch gesture is still there and you can also use it. Here are a few other pointers and tips. Although some of them are not new, we notice that our users don't always realize that it's there. So, one is the ability to temporarily hide one or multiple shots in your match. You do it from the shot list tab by tapping the eye icon in the top left corner. And then selecting whatever shots you want to hide. Also, there is another convenient way of replaying the shots 
by double tapping the corresponding dot just below the target image. And if you close the stats below the target, you will be able to replay your shots in various replay modes that you can toggle with this icon and it will cycle through all the options. Another fundamental and yet overlooked setting is the make correction located in the bottom left corner of your target image. It can help you fine-tune your calibration if necessary. If your group is off-center due to imperfect calibration, you can drag your last shot toward, towards the coordinate where it should have been, which will add this adjustment to all subsequent shots. It's important to remember, however, that this function only works when you select your last shot. Due to popular demand, we've also added the ability to show all traces on one target, which does just that. It applies all the trajectories onto one target image so you can analyze the entire pattern or string. There is also one new data interpretation tool under the Analysis tab, which is called Aiming. It can give you a new perspective on the stability and accuracy of your hold. We'll make a separate post ex explaining this data. We've already shown you how you can print targets before your practice, but we've also added the ability to print out the results of your practice. Press the three dots from your practice screen and then print result. It will print out a full summary of your practice session. Lastly, we'd like to show you how to export your practice files to other devices or people. From the home screen, select the necessary files with the long tap and press the share button in the top right of your screen. Then you can select a convenient sharing option.